Aloha once again. I am getting calls, which the police might call next to interrupt this transmission. Again, I say thank you to those of you who are watching. And again, I ask of you, please, please share far and wide. If I go incognito, it is because I have been arrested and presumably under the Terrorism Act. The man who has fought against terrorism, especially state-sponsored terrorism, the kind that I know intimately well as a Marine who fought in the first Gulf slaughter in 1991. I can assure you that these so-called law agencies in the United Kingdom are nefarious, destructive interests who, while I will not judge all of the police, I have met many good police. Let me make that clear. Honestly, I have. And I have dealt with dickhead police too. And they can go fuck themselves if they're not doing their duty to protect and serve and honor the law. The law, which is probably why they don't like what I'm saying, amongst other things, the law is clear. It is the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. It exists here in this country. You might have heard of Magna Carta. There was a big battle in this country many, many, many years ago, centuries ago, to give you the rights that you have under the law, the actual law, not to be confused with acts of parliament. There are laws, and I have been supporting and defending the law not only united states law but also british law and also international law and specifically human rights law and treaty law the united kingdom by the way is party to the terrorism act and treaties governing terrorism also they're part of the geneva or excuse me the treaty against genocide yes this country right here that you pay your taxes to, that those taxes are being used to enable the Jewish state of Israel to carry on with its genocide in Gaza, are in violation of their own laws, and there is tax resistance, Probity Co. Look it up, Probity Co. in the UK. That is a lawful tax resistance in which your money, your taxes, including council tax, is taken and put into a trust. A trust with terms of the trust that qualify that the UK government, after having been served notice that these taxes are being withheld until they can support and provide assurance and evidence that they will not continue to commit the crimes they're already guilty of committing. That is something happening here. That is more than a protest. That is a way to get to the system right there. This is an option for you. I encourage all of you to look into that lawful option for a peaceful remedy to the situation in which the people of Gaza are being genocided, never mind Iraq, never mind Afghanistan, never mind Libya, never mind all of the countries that my nation has devastated and destroyed. Here's a good book for you, War is a Racket by General Smedley Butler. He was one of the greatest Marines who ever lived, highly decorated, he wrote a book called War is a Racket. If anybody would know, it would be a Marine who served for 27 years and was on the inside. This is the world we're living in. This is the world we're living in. Is this acceptable to you? Because it damn sure ain't acceptable to me. Hell no, is this acceptable to me. So, I say again, for those of you that are here, and I see that the numbers are going up, God bless you all. Please share this message. Share this message. And know that if I go incognito, it is because they're holding me, again, presumably under the Terrorism Act, presumably because of my words in defense of the Islamic resistance, that is, the resistance effectively, although there are secular resistance factions, and I support them too. Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades is an example. The... Uh, the uh, PFLP in Palestine as well. They'll all be listed as terrorist organizations, but we all know who the real terrorist is, don't we? Don't we? The biggest terrorist on the planet is my birth nation of the United States who facilitates uh, the genocide being committed by their rulers in Israel. 
This is a fact. England is the pretty face that puts the civility on the terrorism. That's their role. That's the role. That's their your that's your democratic leaders representing you by virtue of protecting and facilitating, enabling and financing terrorism. Meanwhile, they intend to either try and intimidate me or arrest me, ironically, under terrorism, because I said and I repeat that I shall and always will defend the right of self-defense. I said it on BBC Hard Talk 14 years ago. I've said it time and time again on international media. I've said it in my own podcasts. I have said it in lectures. I have written it in words, and I stand by my position. I am against the murder of people. 100 percent. I am against all violations of law, especially the laws like rape. Who's doing that? Who's the pedophiles? You ever see a documentary called Pedophiles in Parliament? I know the beautiful woman who produced that film. Her career was destroyed as well. Pedophiles in Parliament. That is who is working in your halls of Parliament, creating acts of Parliament which are not law. They are not law. Make the distinction. Educate yourself. Use your mind and listen to your heart. It will tell you what is right and what is wrong. And I can assure you, when you get in tune with your heart and even better to your source, you will realize that all of this is what I call unacceptable. Unacceptable. You know what? When did unacceptable become acceptable? I don't get it. I just don't understand. Unacceptable is simply unacceptable to me, and it should be to all of us. And I want to say to the people that I've met over these last few weeks here in the United Kingdom, all of the good people, Muslims, Christians, and all other stripes, God bless you. God bless you. The love that I have received, I will carry with me wherever I may be, whatever jail I might be in. And while I do intend... To leave this country, I can assure you that they will have markers on my name and that if I do try and fly out, which I intend to fly out, they will stop me and maybe they will take me then. I intend to do the good work that I can do to the greatest of my ability and I will continue to do that because you know what? There's a word even more important than rights. It's called duty. As a man of honor and integrity, one of the ones who cannot be bought nor intimidated. I will serve to the greatest of my ability and honor my duty as a man who refuses to bow to the tyrants who serve in this so-called democracy, same as my treasonous body of government in the United States, Congress and Senate, who I also, foolishly, as a 19-year-old kid, served as a U.S. Marine. But I did take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States and to fight all enemies, foreign and domestic, so help me God. That was an oath, man. I took that shit for life. I don't change. You don't change your mind on an oath. I have been honoring law for the record. I have been honoring the law, and that is why I've been in so many jails and prisons in my life. Assassinated, poisoned, tortured, beaten, confronting Israelis, disarming their bullshit pussy-ass commandos on the Mavi Marmara. Oh, they don't like me. They don't like me at all. And you know what? I don't like you motherfuckers at all. At all. You cowardly fucking wankers you are. Really. And I know you run this country, but your jig is up. Your jig is up. Your grip on power is waning. You will be done. Israel, you will be done. You are done, Israel. We are all Palestinians, and I will fight for my family in Palestine with the law and the sword of truth. The sword of truth. They don't like that. That's why they operate in a world of lies and illusions. All the world is at stage. Do you know this guy, Shakespeare? You know William Shakespeare? You know what? He made the most anti-Semitic play of all. It's called The Merchants of Venice. 
it'll tell you everything you need to know about who's running the country right now. That's William Shakespeare. You know, the Muslims call him the Sheikh of London. <laughs> Sheikh is a truth teller, is an Islamic scholar. Obviously, Shakespeare wasn't a Muslim, but boy, he had the spirit. He had the knowledge and he had the ability to make a beautiful play called The Merchants of Venice. If you haven't seen it, watch it or read it. It's, uh, it's worth reading. And there's a whole lot of other things you could do, too. If you really want to know the truth, Europa, the last battle dot net, the most censored film on the planet, barring one other one, the greatest story never told, which will turn everything that they told you about World War Two, everything they told you will be turned on its head, literally the greatest story never told in Europa, the last battle. So I want to say to again, all of you, God bless you. And for all those wishing me support and goodwill and all that, hey, I feel the love. I do. I feel that love. And I shall carry that with me wherever I go. And however long I'm here, you can go ahead and bank on me fighting a good fight till the end. Till the end. So, I think I managed to finish this one without getting a call. I think I got over 300 people watching, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I love you. And to all you Mossad bastards watching me, go fuck yourself, yeah? Really, you cowardly fucks. I was there. I'm here. I'm still standing. And I'll be standing. And I'll be fighting till the bitter end.